Well, 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 hello everybody. It's not often that I get to say this, but happy hump day. <laughs> well, not often being uh, only once a week. But what a week here. What a week. We have a lot of things to get to. Uh, first, Zuckerberg admits that the Biden administration pressured them to censor free speech on their platform. And this is a bit crazy because uh, it, it wasn't just pressure for, or, you know, uh, talking about things that uh, they believed were wrong or lies or whatever. It was even, in, it even included, uh, it even included jokes like memes. They pressured him bad. Uh, of course, he did uh, end up censoring a bit and he has admitted that he wish, wished that he had pressed back on the administration, pushed back a little bit and said, whoa, wait a minute. So he's having some regrets. And you actually heard him say a couple of nice things about Trump recently. He thought he was the man when it came to that uh, attempted assassination. But uh, nevertheless, he restricts our speech. And, uh, but hey, it's good to hear, it's good to hear uh, here that he uh, came out and said that. Anyway, before we get too far, there's a lot going on with the market, a lot going on with uh, precious metals. Bad news, Bank of America clients have sold $7 billion in stock. That's the largest amount since 2020. The first cut is always going to be the deepest and rate cut should scare you. But J.P. Morgan and Citigroup have said there will be two supersized cuts this year. So what better time to invest in gold and precious metals? Call America's own precious metals company, the National Gold Group. And if you mention the Punisher's channel, you'll always get best-in-class service from America's conservative precious metals leader. The National Gold Group has the IRA fee waiver program. That means they will pay the fees on your IRA for life on qualifying rollovers. So call 888-598-9909 for a free investor's guide today. The National Gold Group is Consumer Affairs' top-rated gold IRA dealer. So call 888-598-9909. That's 888-598-9909. Welcome back, everybody. Shall I have another sip? Another shot of whiskey happen out the, out the door. That's an old song. Uh, ben Affleck, J-Lo. They finally called it quits. Uh, it's kind of sad, in a way. They waited 20 years and they tried it again and only lasted two. Now yeah, look, uh, I love movies. I don't care about their politics. Uh, so Ben Affleck puts out some great movies. But what's funny... <laughs> And he's, he, they're denying it, they're denying it, but Ben Affleck is rumored to have already been uh, hooking up with uh, uh, <clears throat> JFK's daughter, JFK Jr.'s daughter, JFK Jr. Uh, her name is Kathleen, she's got a nickname, Kathleen Kick Kennedy, so she goes by Kick. Uh, that's interesting, although they are denying the rumor, however, I kind of like the idea. So, I hope it turns out true, to be honest with you. More on the Harris campaign, uh, on her policy. They're putting out so much policy stuff now. Kidding. She still hasn't uh, really published anything. All she is is a flip-flopper. Uh, this interview that she's about to do, that they're talking about with CNN, really? Who's really excited about this stupid interview? It's CNN, okay? She's already got the questions. She's going to have everything. It's going to be edited. It's going to be in, uh, everything's going to be sh show in her favor. You're not going to see any word salads or any cackling, maybe a little cackling. So that's crazy. But meanwhile, such a flip-flopper. We've talked about it. All of a sudden, she's pro-police when she wanted to defund. She even wanted to de-arm, disarm police for routine traffic stops, as if a routine traffic stop uh, is, so is somehow uh, extra safe when routine traffic stops are often the ones where a police officer gets shot, okay? Tail light out, okay? Or a headlight out or something like that uh, may seem simple, 
But when you pull that person over, you might find out more about them. You know, if I had a tail light out and you pulled me over, of course, I'm completely risk free. But that's often what leads to finding a criminal is a, is a tail light out or something like that. So unbelievable. And then, of course, uh, she's for sanctuary cities and then suddenly starts to distance herself from that. But the border wall is still the, the number one funniest thing ever is that uh, she's suddenly showing uh, ads that actually have portions of the Trump wall in them. And she's talking about how she's so pro-border. Uh, but guess what? You can find endless videos of her saying the contrary. She like, she, I, I, this, is, this kills me. So she called it Trump's medieval vanity project, the wall. It is so funny when they play multiple clips where the politician uses the same line. That kills me when somebody uses the same line. I'd be embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed if I just used the same line repeatedly. That means they, they, they write it down and then they say, I'm gonna use this in every, every uh, interview, every question I get. Trump's uh, uh, medieval vanity border project. Trump's medieval vanity border project. Trump's medieval vanity wall. It's stupid. But it is going to be a big, a beautiful wall. It's going to be big and beautiful. So the way it is, my vanity project. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, there we go. 69 days. 69 days left until the election. So I'll say it again. And Trump's been telling you, President Trump's been telling you, vote, vote, vote. By the way, they keep replaying these stupid clips where they, uh, where they mislead the uh, American people and play a, an edited clip. I mean, we know it's a, a, a tactic that they use, just like the, uh, the uh, fine people on both sides crap in, uh, in uh, Charlottesville. But uh, the dictator thing, they know full well. If you, all you have to do is watch the clip and he says, uh, except for day one, I'm going to be a dictator on day one. I'm going to reverse all these policies. I'm going to <laughs> And then he laughed. You're so, people are so stupid. You, you know full well, just like the uh, bleach uh, thing, you know full well it's just chatter, it's talk, it's funniness. Sometimes people make a joke and they just don't get it. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's going on. And then of course, oh, Harris also says, I never, I'm, not, I'm not for a, a, an EV mandate. Liar. I mean, they literally ran on this stuff. So, uh, September 10th debate. The, uh, they're still trying to sort out the final details of that. They've decided that the mics uh, uh, will remain off, and now they're bickering about whether they should be allowed to have notes. I say they should not have notes because Harris will do better with notes. She'll basically have everything in notes. And let's not think for a second. She's probably not. She's going to be fed them questions. I don't believe it. I don't believe that she will go in there cold without knowing the questions. Not for a freaking second. Uh, but they're trying to say that, uh, that President Trump wants the mics off because he can't control himself. From what I saw during the debate with Biden, uh, the mics were off. He was completely calm between responses, looked very much in control of his faculties. Uh, no sudden outbursts. I mean, he could have said something even, even without a mic uh, if he were that uncontrolled. So... Mike's off, on, Mike's off, uh, doesn't matter to me, doesn't matter to President Trump, and I'm certain that he could be remain calm and quiet uh, in between uh, the times that he is supposed to speak. So, anyway, you know it, well, I know it, the American people know it, uh, Operation Sleep Stack will remain as is, uh, Operation T24, Steadfast, is at uh, 5.0, but guess what? Effective today, it moves to uh, Operation T24 Steadfast uh, 5.5. You know it, uh, well, I know it, the American people know it. And uh, screw James White Bulger, we'll talk to you later, bye.